let's multiply one half and three quarters. So this is products of fractions. So we are going to do one half times three quarters. Now, whenever you're multiplying fractions, you can also see this as one half of three quarters. So this is one half of three quarters. And because multiplication works backwards and forwards, this is also three quarters of one half. So that is what the multiplication means. One half times three quarters. You're saying I want half of three quarters or vice versa. So multiplying fractions is super simple. It's probably the easiest thing you're going to do with fractions. So one times three, all you do is you multiply the tops together and you put them over the bottoms multiplied together. So that is super easy. One times three is three. Two times four is eight. So three eighths is your answer. Now, is this in simplest form? Yes, it is because three and eight don't divide. They don't both divide by two or three, they only divide by one, which would leave us with the same answer. So that is in simplest form. Now, the neat thing about multiplying fractions is that it doesn't matter what order it comes in, as long as you end up with one and three on the top and two and four on the bottom. So let's see some other examples that would also give us three eighths. What if this was written as three quarters times one half? Well, let's write it out. This would be three times one on the top and four times two on the bottom. Three times one is three. 4 times 2 is 8. Now what if I had just switched the bottoms instead of the tops? Or I just switched the tops instead of the bottoms? So my new fractions would be, so this would be 1 over 4 times 3 over 2. So now I've got entirely new fractions, but all I did, see here, this was 1 over 2, I switched the bottom, so it's now 1 over 4. And then 3 over 4 became 3 over 2. So let's write that out. 1 times 3 over 4 times 2 equals 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 2 is 8. And as you can see, you always get the same answer as long as you have the same on the top and the bottom. Your question might be a bit different, but you can see that you can switch them and you still get the same number. So 1 half of 3 quarters or 1 half times 3 quarters is 3 eighths.